Perfect. All right, California has one of the more generous family leave policies in the nation, and now many barrier companies are expanding what they offer, but not all workers are taking advantage of it. Joining us now to talk more about the impact on companies and employees is Andrew Challenger from Challenger Gray and Christmas, a global placement and career firm. Andrew, thanks for taking the time. Thanks for having me on. Hey, real quick, let's go right to Netflix, uh, announcing unlimited maternity and paternity leave during the first year of childbirth or adoption. Is this a trend or kind of a unique situation? Because to me, this is like a technique to lure talent because really how often is a man or a woman going to take an entire year with all the threats of people taking their jobs and so forth? It's so true. Netflix is getting incredible PR out of this announcement. But at the same time, they're hiring the hardest working, most driven people on the planet and one of these top, top tech companies. And so they don't expect people to really abuse that policy. So it is competition between other companies. They're looking for people in their 20s, maybe who have not been married yet. And when they do get married and then decide to have children, then they're in. They're hooked. Yeah, we're, we're countries uh, coming to a place of full on, full employment right now. Um, and we just saw an unemployment number of 5.1% last uh, month. And, and so companies are having to get more creative and more uh, luxurious in the benefits they're providing to employees. Does a policy like this bring about any tension, I guess you could say, between the workplace relationship? Or, I mean, what if I'm married but I don't want to have kids and my coworker is gone for 12 months and being a good dad or mom, which is fine, but there may be that tension there and may be uncomfortable for a company? I mean, it certainly does, and I think people that are considering how long uh, they're going to take their maternity or paternity leave are certainly factoring in that decision uh, uh, that they don't want to leave their colleagues and other people that they work with on the hook for work that they won't be there for. Let's uh, talk about Yahoo's uh, Marissa Meyer uh, announced recently that she's having twin girls. Congratulations for that. Uh, but she's only taking limited time off. But she's getting a lot of heat, Andrew, for making those uh, statements saying that she's not going to be gone a long time. People saying that she's not representing uh, women properly in the tech field. Is she getting uh, this bad press for the wrong reason? Yeah, I think it's unfair, right? Women are not a, a homogenous group that makes their work-life balance decisions together. Um, some women want uh, equal time between work and home, but Marissa Mayer uh, wants to uh, lead a flailing tech behemoth uh, uh, on a global stage to a turnaround. And, and so her decisions are different. She has different consequences. And, and, and different reasons to make the choice. Consequences. I mean, I couldn't imagine what the investors would do if she said, all right, I'll see you back here in a year. Exactly. So, so I do think it's an unfair criticism of her. All right. Andrew Challenger, uh, appreciate you chiming in on uh, a very interesting debate. Uh, thank you, Andrew.